The saying goes, mother knows best, right, mom? But what about grandmothers? Since she can remember, Kim has always turned to her grandma for advice on everything from fashion to dating, and the advice was just too good to keep within the family. So the two created their own podcast. Here to show us that, Grandma Knows Best. Please welcome to the show the host of Excuse My Grandma podcast, Kim Merstein and Grandma Gay. Hi. 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 All right, let's jump right in here. So Kim, most people around your age avoid sharing any kind of dating news with their family, but you tell your grandmother everything. So when did you realize her advice should be shared with the world? You know what, that's a really good point. And I think sometimes it is easier to skip a generation and kind of talk to a grandparent versus a parent. But now I'm trying to spread the message of being able to talk to any family member about this kind of stuff. And I think, Honestly, I didn't really have a choice my whole life. She would ask me all of the questions and want to know everything. So I think on her part, just being really inquisitive about my life and her other grandchildren's lives as well is what forced us to be so close. Um, but yeah, it really started mostly during the pandemic when I decided to move in with her and my grandfather in Florida and out of New York City um, just to spend some time down there. I was going on dates and I really really needed her advice then more than ever. That's amazing. I love this so much. Okay, so Grandma Gail, I know you're normally the advice giver, but what have you learned from Kim? Well, I've learned from Kim that dating in 2023 is not much fun. Uh, <laughs> that's that's the major thing. Uh, you know, they, they're they afraid of commitment. They're afraid of making mistakes, uh, which we didn't do. We just got married. And if mistakes happened, we got divorced. Uh, but this generation is much different. And um, I've learned a lot of stuff for the better. I mean, I now know about dating apps and stuff like, you know, those situations which certainly weren't around when I was dating. And uh, for the most part, um, they're very sophisticated, smart young people, and they are much more aware of dating and the situations than I was in the 60s and the 50s. Well, I want to follow up on what you just said because you have this unique perspective. What would you say, you know, the biggest difference between people that are, have dating apps available to them now as opposed to when you were dating? Like, do you think it's more advantageous to just kind of go in there and figure it out? Or do you kind of want to know a list of things about that person before you start dating them? To be very truthful, Kimmy knows that I, I don't like dating apps. <laughs> to me, if I had a choice, I would like her to meet somebody that either her friends knew or family mm. picked up somewhere where we knew the background and we knew where the man was coming from. But that's very hard to do today because, uh, you know, in many cases, they're not in the same cities. They don't have as much resources to find young people. And we also got married really right out of college or high school where we had a closed community that was already in place. Now you're in the workforce mm -hmm. and it's very, very different. Um, so I do see where the difference is. I don't love it, but uh, Kim swears that they're all vetted now. So there are no mass killers on the on the website. <laughs> well, personally, I do go out from a dating app. I try to make sure I have at least one mutual friend right. with the person. Smart. So I'll look social media and kind of cross check that. Smart. But I think it's all just an avenue. I wouldn't only do dating apps. I wouldn't only do family fix ups. I wouldn't only go out with someone I met um, at a bar at 2 a.m. I feel like you kind of need a mix of a everything. Nice mix. All right, Kim, I want to stay with you here. Your grandma's advice has become extremely popular on TikTok, and she clearly gives good guidance despite how different things are nowadays. So what is the best piece of advice and the worst she's given you? Yeah, so we're looking at some of the rules now, your audience, and I think rule number five, I probably agree with the most, which is don't chase a guy unless you need to get those steps in. I think the guy should really come to you. You don't want to run after someone. Uh, same kind of thing is like you always want the guy to like you a little more than you like them. Similar yes. mm -hmm. messaging there that I know a lot of people grew up with. Um, but yeah, I, I think the worst advice she's probably given me she likes to give people a lot of chances so she would say go on 10 dates with someone before you make a decision whether you like them or not I would probably say after two or three you get a pretty good idea of whether there's any type of connection and I, I don't agree with 
that. I still don't agree with that. I don't think you know the person after two or three dates. Uh, and I think it's that's the problem with the generation mm. today. They're not giving somebody a chance. Mm. Uh, and they need to know, delve a little more deeply into the soul of their uh, date and really understand where they're coming from. And two or three dates, you barely know their name so uh, or where they went to school or where, where their family came from. So uh, I, I think they should be a little more patient. It's much more um, the impatience in the dating mm -hmm. is something I don't quite understand. But Grandma, again, <laughs> we have no attention span. You know what I mean? That's what's happening. <laughs> DBL I know that. Right, exactly. I know, that. I know. <laughs> she's like, I gotcha. Check out Kim and Grandma Gail's podcast, Excuse My Grandma, and to learn more, we want you to go to their Instagram or TikTok at Excuse My Grandma. Ladies, this is fantastic. We love it, the idea of it. Continue on. Thank you so much for all of the time. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.